As always, we're going to set a banker lap, and this should be a pretty competitive time, possibly. Yeah, it's P2. 79 points behind Lewis Hamilton. Our teammate Sebastian Vettel is 19 points, so if Lewis doesn't get a decent win and Vettel does win, uh, Vettel could potentially be in the lead of this Drivers' Championship. Uh, in Constructors, we are quite a... Wa well, pretty much Ferrari need to win a few more races, 1-2, and Mercedes need to either not even be in the top 10 or just have terrible races for us to uh, catch up. But with this episode, because I've, I'm busy uh, this afternoon, I wasn't able to use my setup, so I'm actually using the controller. So I'm going to see if I still lock up with the controller. If I do, then I know it's me or even the car. Uh, but if I don't, then I know it is this, the the steering wheel, the pretty much all that gear. So for this race, I'm going to be using controller. Um, my driving might be different because controller is nowhere near as good as a proper steering wheel. And Windows 10 decided to tell me there's a new software update available. But anyway, let's get right into qualifying. Alright, this is going to be so weird. I have not actually used a controller for F1 in a long time. Well, I used it on Monday for F1 2014, but that was a different console altogether. Alright, 123 that is two seconds faster than my previous 125. So I don't want to actually do another fast lap because that last lap was pretty bad. <coughs> so if I sit, leave that as my time for now, put on a fresh pair of options, that will actually help me with the race because last race I didn't put on a fresh pair so we actually ran with pretty terrible qualifying tyres in the race and that's what really pretty much ruined our race. Oh, Ricardo's given up. And we set a 123. We didn't go faster, but we are P1. Alright, so that's P1. Sebastian Vettel is pretty close. Alright, so the race strategy for today is lap 6 or 7. We're going to come in and put a set of primes on. And it's a 13 lap race. And estimate race time is pretty pretty much the shortest it's been for a few for the, a long time. Every other race has been in the 20 minutes. But anyway, let's get straight into the race. Here we are for the race. Four lights, five lights. Lights out and away we go. And on a controller, it is actually harder to control the revs, but anyway, as we look behind us, no one has a decent type, well, Hamilton's going three wide in, into this corner soon, and we just overshoot the first corner, but we hold the position, and it's 1-2 so far for Ferrari, and Massa is definitely, well, he was just before having a look at Vettel, but nothing at the moment, so go cautiously into this corner and we have no damage for, from our tyres so it did work and, but we go out wide onto the gravel that is something we not we don't need and now Vettel down the inside had to be careful where he was don't want to take him out like we did before but anyway it is a huge train we actually need to do something about that so I'm just going to concentrate for the remaining corners and we take the curb and almost lose the car but that train is still large so I'm just going to try and get out of the slipstream now Mass is looking for an overtake Mass is definitely going side by side with Vettel that, that area having a much better or much more enjoyable race Look at this Massa side by side. Look at that Williams aerodynamic. Um, 
aerodynamic car and I just overshoot the first corner again. They're still side by side though. So whatever setup Vettel has on, it's doing very well, but Massa is at the moment in the lead. And yes, he has taken the lead from Vettel. So Vettel needs to do something about that because it looks like both Mercedes are right behind him. All right, so the train on the minimap looks like there is a little gap, probably 10th to the remaining of the field. So either something did happen or the speed like a McLaren Honda's holding them up because I don't think McLaren Honda would be anywhere near top 10. Well, they might be, but they're not going to be in the top 10, that's for sure. All right, we're now into the 125s. Rosberg sets the fastest lap. So Mercedes are definitely fast at the start of this race. And we overshoot the first corner again. I just... I'm, I'm keeping myself distracted from actually getting decent corners. Hamilton was just in P2, so something... And now he's back in P2, so I think they went three wide into the first corner because Mass uh, Vettel is out of it, not in the top three anymore. All right, into the pits we go for our first and final pit stop. We've got a four point something second gap between us and Mass, but Mass might be staying out. Now he's coming in the pits. Someone's staying out. I have no idea who because it won't update. Two point four seconds. That's pretty fast. Here we go for the exit back onto the race. And some of those cars are definitely having a battle as we're going to come onto the end of the this little train with Budden in 8th. Look at this. McLaren Honda sitting duck. Uh, oh yeah, and the McLaren Honda just took me out. Great. Thank you very much, Honda. Oh, McLaren, at least. Jens Button ruining my race. Alright, so this is definitely going to be a much harder race now. Because of that McLaren just not giving any, any way. And it's going to be a very long pit stop. Look at this, we're not even ready for me. Ten second pit stop, Al almost eleven seconds. And we're getting held up for no reason. Oh, okay, th that's a reason, Ericsson. This is just going to be hammering laps now. Look at this, the two manners are fighting. That's incredible. Too bad we're going to overtake them. Two manners, one corner. Yellow flag. Now it's green. Yellow flag again. The car's off. Massa. Something to something happened to him. All right, gonna have to put it back into standard. We don't have much fuel left. Sorry, McLaren Honda, you better not take me out. Like your teammate did. Verstappen, out of the way. Naza, coming through. Oh, was he trying to go into the pits? I have no idea. <coughs> anyway, Maldonado, please don't crash into me. Kvyat, you got replaced. Science, I met you at my hotel in Melbourne. That was pretty cool. Come on, science. We shared the same elevator. Come on, Groshan. Yellow flags. This is even better. Who is it? Who is it? Look at this guy's trying to get over. Massa Steel. And Ricardo.
Alright, Grosjean. Thank you. Hulkenberg. You're pretty cool. You won Le Mans. But I need that position. Fierce place with our final lap. We would have had him. We would have had that P1 place. But anyway, we're going to come home in fifth. We would have got Perez on the next lap, I reckon. But that's fifth place, and we ran out of fuel just on the final corner. I'm not happy with that, but pretty good after the circumstances. So, yeah, we get 10 points from that. Lewis Hamilton, he got a penalty for something, so that pushes him down into 13th. And as I said before, Sebastian Vettel is our new driver's champion. Oh, not champion, but he's our new um, potential driver's champion. So if we look at this, we stay on... Well, we stay in 5th place. Lewis Hamilton is now 6 points behind our teammate. And we are 51 points behind Mercedes in the Constructors... Uh, champion... In the standing, sorry. So, a lot of things have changed this race. A few people went down, some went up. But majority stayed the same. Uh, if you did like this race, or this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if there's anything else you want to see, uh, just let me know. I'm definitely going to be doing live stream very shortly because I should be getting uh, MBN. If you don't know what that is, it's the National Broadband Network in Australia. Pretty much fibre to the home, but at this moment it's fibre to the node, which is stupid. Um, I should be getting that at the end of this month, on the 30th. And so, once that's up, I will be live streaming a lot at very good quality. So, yeah, that's going to be heaps fun. But anyway, guys... I'll see you next time for the next race, which I believe is going back into the Asian area. I'm just going to quickly check. Yep, so we're going back into the Asia area. So we're going to be racing at Singapore next, and I believe after that will be Japan or something like that. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time.